Hello everyone, welcome to Alpha Beta Tutorial. In this video, I'm going to take you step by step through the solution to WASI 2023 Physics Practical Alternative A question number two, the question under light. Let's get started. The diagram below illustrates a light experiment setup. So this is a ray box, this is the object, and this is the height of the object. We also have a lens and a lens holder. This is a screen and this is the image on the screen and this is the height of the image. You are provided with a ray box A meter rule a convergent lens so this is the lens and this is the lens holder and a screen the only measuring instruments among the apparatus is the meter rule and the least count or readability of the meter rule is 0 0.1 centimeters which implies that the shortest length the meter rule can measure is 0 0.1 centimeters and also we are going to record length in one decimal place place the lens at B such that AB is equal to U is equal to 30 centimeters so we are going to place the lens at 30 centimeters from the ray box. So we place the center mark of the lens holder at 30 centimeters. This mark. So the distance between the ray box and the center mark of the lens holder is 30 centimeters and that is you so we switch on the light and move the screen to receive a sharp image of the object on the screen so we have a sharp image of the object on the screen and we are going to measure and record the height h which is the height of the object and capital h which is the height of the image so with a ruler we measure the height of the image on the screen which is capital h but small h represents the height of the object that is the vertical wire in the ray box but the height of the object which is this wire is fixed at 1.5 centimeters and is not going to change throughout the experiment so small h which is the height of the object is 1.5 centimeters and the capital H which is the height of the image on the screen is 1.4 centimeters so we move the screen again to receive another sharp image and record the height of the image and we find the mean of the two heights that is 1.4 plus 1.6 divided by 2 in order to reduce error so the mean height is 1.5 
centimeters. And we evaluate P is equal to the height of the object divided by the height of the image, which is the inverse of magnification. So P is equal to small h divided by capital H. So the height of the object is 1.5 centimeters and the height of the image is also 1.5 centimeters. When we divide, we have one, but we leave it in two decimal places since it's a calculated value. And we have to leave it in the normal of decimal places that will give us enough information to obtain accurate results. So we have U in centimeters and it's 30.0 centimeters. And the height of the object also in centimeters. The height of the object is 1.5 and it's not going to change throughout the experiment. And the height of image is also in centimeters. This is the first trial, 1.4. The second trial is also 1.6. And this is the mean height also in centimeters. That is 1.4 plus 1.6 divided by 2. And this is P, which is the height of the object divided by the height of the image, which is the inverse of magnification. The height of the object, small h, is 1.5, divided by the height of the image, which is also 1.5, giving us 1.00. P has no units because the height of the object is in centimeters and the height of the image is also in centimeters, so they cancel out. And we are going to repeat the experiment for u is equal to 35 centimeters, 40 centimeters, 45 centimeters, and 50 centimeters. So we set u to 35 centimeters and repeat the procedure. We set it to 40 centimeters, 45, 50 centimeters, and then tabulate the results. And we are going to plot a graph with P as ordinates, which is the vertical axis, and U as abscissa, which is the horizontal axis. So for the values of U, we have 30 centimeters, 35, 40, 45, and 50. We can easily plot them on the graph. But for the values of P, we have to change them to standard form for us to be able to plot them easily. So we move this point 1, 2 to the right and record this as 100 times 10 exponent negative 2. So for the next value 2, we move the point 1, 2 and we have 130 also times 10 exponent negative 2 giving us back 1.30 so the next value is going to be 167 the next one 200 and the next one 231 so we plot these values on the graph so we draw the vertical and horizontal axis So we are going to plot P on the vertical axis and U on the horizontal axis. We choose a scale. We are going to choose a scale of 2 cm is to 20 times 10 exponent negative 2 on P axis. The least value on the P axis is 100. So we can start from 90 and keep on adding 20. So the next one is going to be 110, the next one 130, 150 and so on. 
on u axis we choose a scale of 2 cm is to 5 cm the least value on u axis is 30 so we can start from 20 and keep on adding 5 so the next one will be 25 30 35 40 and so on on the vertical axis the difference is 20 20 divided by 10 is 2 so each small box on the vertical axis is equal to 2 for the first point we have 30 on the horizontal axis this is 30 and 100 on the vertical axis 100 will be between 90 and 110 so we put the point here for the next one we have 35 on the horizontal axis and 130 on the vertical axis this is 130 and this is 35 so they will meet here the next one 40 this is 40 167 so this is 150 the middle here is 160 one box is 2 so 160 2 4 6 and in the middle of the next box we have 167 the next one 45 and 200 this is 45 this is 190 and 210 so the middle is 200 the next one is 50 and 231 this is 50 and this is 230 one box is two so we put it in the middle of the next box and we draw the line of best fit determine the slope s of the graph so for the slope we draw this horizontal and vertical lines we name here a b and c the slope is change in bc divided by change in ab for change in bc we have this is 250 the middle is 260 260 246 minus 110 times 10 is for the negative 2 for changing AB we have 55 minus on this axis the difference is 5 5 divided by 10 is 0 0.5 so each small box on the horizontal axis is 0 0.5 so we have 30 30.5 31 and 31.5 and the unit is centimeters so 266 minus 110 is 156 times 10 is for negative 2 and 55 minus 31.5 is 23.5 and the unit is centimeters and now 156 times 10 is my negative 2 is 1.56 and 1.56 divided by 23.5 is 0 0.0664 and centimeters is at the denominator so we have per centimeters as the unit evaluate S inverse S inverse is the same as 1 divided by S where S is the slope so we fix the value of the slope so we have 1 divided by 0 0.0664 per centimeters and 1 divided by 0 0.0664 is 15.06 and the reciprocal of per centimeters is centimeters so 15.06 is 15.1 to one decimal place the answer should be approximately equal to 
the focal length of the converse lens used for the experiment. From the graph, determine the value of capital H when U is equal to 37.5 centimeters. So, from the graph, when U is 37.5 centimeters, this is 35 centimeters. Two boxes is one, so 36, 37.5. We draw a line to meet the line of best fit and we project it to the p axis so we have 150 remember times 10 is point negative 2 so 150 times 10 is point negative 2 is 1.5 so from the graph when u is 37.5 centimeters p is equal to 1.5 but p is equal to small h over capital h remember that is what the question gave to us and so we fix the value of p which is 1.5 and the height of the object 2 is 1.5 centimeter it doesn't change we cross multiply and we divide through by 1.5 1.5 divided by 1.5 is 1.0 centimeters.